A new version of Big Picture introduces a functionality that you absolutely need to hear about because it's going to help you create your portfolio or program views much more easily than in the past. And the aim of this video is to show you what is what and how to leverage this new knowledge. So let's take a look at the screen. What I have over here is I have a portfolio overview that is a portfolio type of the box that I am working with. I'm presenting this to one, some of our customers. And basically what has changed is that previously, uh, some months ago, Big Picture added the possibility to maintain the resources through this kind of a view, which is already a big step forward because that allows you to create global views for on the portfolio level, program level, or even on the home level of Big Picture of all of your resources. So that's a huge step when we are talking about global resource management. It still needs a smart setup to work properly in the background, but basically it's uh, it's amazing. And now what has been added is that you can also view your Gantt data from the level of the portfolio box, right? So what, what it's going to show you, it's going to show you everything that is below your portfolio. So in my case, below the portfolio, you can see that I have a program global overview that is another portfolio because I want to create three steps over here, three steps of hierarchy. So I have projects here, program and portfolio. And I have two projects inside it. Uh, one of them also has an initiative defined. So basically my portfolio view is just displaying everything that is below it. So in my case, it's going to be two projects and an initiative. You can see that the data for all of the projects are still here. So nothing is missing from this view. This is very important because having this kind of a view allows you to, for example, follow the cross-project dependencies. It allows you to um, schedule data in a more sensible way, having the visibility for several different projects at the same time, not just one and switching to another and switching to another. So it speeds up the process of not just planning, but late, later on also following and executing the project plans. Um, the, the key aspect of using this, if you want to leverage the new functionality, is to have the proper setting in your box type definition. So if I go to box types and I enter my portfolio and go to tasks and scope definition, here you will see that the settings or setting of non-aggregations only for the scope needs to be enabled. Good news is that this is the default setting for the portfolio view. So if you, uh, portfolio type of the box. So if you haven't changed anything, you're going to have it there one way or another. And the beautiful thing is that the workarounds that we have been using to have these kind of views without this functionality previously in the past, uh, currently are not needed anymore. The views that you will be able to create with this sometimes will be simply too big and you want to limit the amount of data due to performance issues. So then you have to go to workarounds that we have been using in the past. And so for some customers, they are still going to be absolutely there in place and we are not going to uh, change anything. Um, also, another very good case for having the workarounds in place is when you want some data to be aggregated directly at the level of high level items in your portfolio or program uh, hierarchy. So that's another place where I think our workarounds will still be very, very useful. For simple scenarios, this aggregations only view and the, the, the availability of Gantt as a module on the level of the portfolio type of the box is going to be simply amazing. If you are struggling with setting up Big Picture in the right way, and you want to use someone that is very proficient in this area. It's going to speed up the process and help you get it in place with the right configuration, right approach from the get-go within a few weeks. Reach out to us and we will help you out gladly. And if you are interested in learning more about the portfolio or program approach management inside the big picture slash Jira area, then you will definitely like the video that you will see in a second on the end screen. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be seeing you in the next one.